The hook I am using is an Umqua U301 in size 10, and the thread is UTC Ultra Thread 70 in red. Start your thread leaving a small amount of space up by the hook eye. Then bring your thread down the bend of the hook. Now take whatever color bunny strip you want to use. In this case, I'm using the natural color, and also this is a magnum size strip. And snip off a small amount. Then pull out the under fur. Measure out the fur to about the length of the hook and tie it in at the base of the hook. Make some tight wraps to lock it in place and then snip off the waist at an angle to create a taper. Then make wraps over the remaining fur to smooth out the hook shank. Now make a dubbing loop and attach the dubbing spinner. Next, we're gonna to wanna to hold the rabbit strip with our fingers like so. And go ahead and experiment with the amount of fur that you hold. The more you use, the thicker the body of the fly will be. Then snip off the hide while holding the fur tightly. Start pulling out some of the under fur, but only do so when holding the fur tightly so you don't pull out the longer hairs. Place that fur into your dubbing loop and then make a twist or two to hold the fibers in tightly. Space out the fur evenly on your loop, and then spin your loop to create a bunny hackle. Sometimes the fur will get trapped, so it's a good idea to pick out the loop with your bodkin. And also use a stiff toothbrush to comb the fibers outward. Now spin the hackle up the hook shank tightly, making touching wraps. If you aren't using a cradle with your rotary vise, then you might need to unwrap the thread a few times as you spin up the hook shank. Once you reach the hook eye, pull back the fibers before capturing your dubbing loop. Then pull back the fibers once again and tie a few wraps to secure that loop thread tightly. Now pick out the fur along the hook shank that got trapped. It does help to wet your fingers and stroke the fibers back to ensure that none are sticking out forward. Then wrap back on top of the fur a bit to ensure that the fibers stay aligned rearward at the front. Now you can whip finish your fly. Go ahead and use some type of head cement on your fly to keep it durable. Then use a toothbrush and comb the fibers forward, then rearward again. And there we have it, a light and easy to cast rabbit leech. Thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check the description section for a list of materials I used today. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.